learn English easily. With the help of stories. Chapter 1 The Locked Room Mark and his friends rented an old mansion in the countryside, complete with a huge lawn and a lake. The plan was to spend the weekend relaxing and playing games. But as soon as they arrived, something fell off. The mansion was darker and colder than Mark remembered, and there was a strange smell in the air. The windows were all shut tight, and even though it was a warm day, the air inside felt moist. Mark tried not to overthink, as they unpacked their bags and settled in. But as the night progressed, strange things began to happen. The lights blink, and strange noises are coming from the halls. Because it was an old house, Mark's friends made fun of it, but he couldn't get rid of the uneasy feeling. The next morning, one of Mark's friends, Sarah, was missing. They searched the entire house, but she was nowhere to be found. They checked the doors and windows, but they were all locked from the inside. Mark's heart raced as he realized that someone or something had locked them all in. They began to panic as they desperately searched the house for any sign of Sarah. Mark noticed a locked door in the corner of the room that he hadn't noticed before. He tried to open it, but it was locked. His heart sank as he realized that Sarah could be trapped on the other side. Mark heard a slight scratching sound from the closed door while discussing their next plan. He carefully listened while keeping his ear to the door. Certainly. Someone or something was inside. Mark and his friends started looking for a technique for breaking down the door, since they wanted to save Sarah. They made all of their possible attempts, but the door remained tightly locked. Just as they were about to give up hope, they heard a voice from inside the room. It was Sarah and she sounded terrified. She said that something was in the room with her, something that wasn't human. As they increased their efforts to smash the door down, Mark's heart raced. The door finally broke away with a loud crack, showing a dark, empty space. Sarah was safe, though. Mark couldn't get rid of the feeling that they were being watched as they searched the remaining areas of the mansion. He had no idea what was going on, but knew it had not yet ended. They had no way out of the mansion, because they were trapped inside, and something was after them. They all started shouting to get the attention of the people living near the mansion. All of a sudden, Mark heard some noises coming from outside. It's a relief that several friendly neighbors rescued them from the mysterious ghost. Chapter 2 The Missing Package Tom had ordered a special package for his wife's birthday. He had been waiting for weeks for it to arrive. And finally, the day before her birthday, it was scheduled to be delivered. Tom waited eagerly by the front door, watching for the delivery truck. But as the day progressed, the truck didn't arrive. Tom checked the tracking information, but it just said, out for delivery. He tried calling the delivery company, but all he got was a busy signal. As the evening approached, Tom grew more and more anxious. He had no idea where the package was or when it would arrive. He walked back and forth, staring out the window and checking his phone every few minutes. Finally, around midnight, there was a knock at the door. 
Tom rushed to answer it, hoping it was the delivery driver with his package. But when he opened the door, there was no one there. Just a small package on the doorstep, wrapped in brown paper and tied with string. Tom picked up the package, feeling a sense of relief that it had finally arrived. But as he examined it, something seemed off. The wrapping paper was torn in places, and the string was loose. It looked like it had been opened and resealed. Tom's heart sank as he realized that the package might have been changed. He carefully opened it, his heart racing as he saw what was inside. The box was empty. Tom felt a wave of panic wash over him. The package he had been waiting for, the one he had ordered for his wife's birthday, was gone. He didn't know who had taken it or why, but he knew that it was a disaster.